I'm Allison, known as a Nelco on Instagram. I'm here at the Glam and Glitz headquarters, and I'm working on some super fun videos for you guys, so make sure and check them out. Okay guys, so I'm going to be a, doing a geode nail, and I'm going to be using Glam and Glitz acrylic powder in Mesmerizing, and it is number 46. And also going to be using Why So Serious, and this is their Glow collection, also from Glam and Glitz. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already prepped the nail, and I'm gonna go in with the Kiara Sky Bond. I'm gonna put a thin coat of this onto the nail. Let that dry for about 10 seconds. Okay guys, so I am going to use my acrylic brush, and I'm actually just gonna go straight onto the nail and I'm gonna dip my acrylic brush into the mesmerizing powder and I'm going to apply it in the center of the nail. And remember, we're doing a geode, so it doesn't have to be completely perfect. You wanna do some different shapes and sizes. So we're going to kind of extend it out in the middle of the nail. Then I'm going to dip my brush into the glow powder. It's called Why So Serious. And I'm gonna kind of swirl these two colors together. And you're gonna put it a little thicker than normal because you are going to file it with your e-file after. And I'm gonna add just a little more of the glow powder right around the side. Okay guys, and I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 seconds. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Glam and Glitz Gray Gray, it's number 437. And one of my favorite colors from Glam and Glitz, it's called Marilyn. And it's sort of a deep, almost black, but not quite black. And the number is 322. I'm gonna go dip my brush in my monomer, and I am going to double dip in the gray as well as the Maryland. So it looks like that. And you're going to kind of just trace around your glitter design, your geode, and move your product around the tip, along the sides. And you're not gonna do it too thick, you wanna do it kind of thin because you're gonna encapsulate this entire nail with clear acrylic. I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go in with the Kiara Sky Clear Powder. <laughs> and I'm going to encapsulate that geode design. I like starting on the free edge first. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. That's just my preference. And I am using a number 14 acrylic brush. And I just like working my way to the cuticle. And each bead is a little less each time. We're gonna let that dry for about 30 seconds. Okay, so now guys, I'm going in with my e-file and a fine drill bit, and I'm just gonna start right in the middle and work my way to the sides and the free edge. So as I'm shaping and smoothing out the fine lines, this geode is actually popping right through. And you can see where I didn't do a perfect smooth line because geodes are different shapes and sizes and that color is really popping through. And I'm gonna go in with my hand file. You're gonna smooth out all the edges and really define your shape. And then I'm gonna go in with the buffer and we are gonna buff this out. Go ahead and dust it off. And I've got my lint-free towelette. I'm going to remove any excess debris from the nail and you can just really see those colors come through. Next, I'm going to go in with the Kiara Sky LED UV top coat. And I like to start right in the middle and move the product all around the nail. And you have your beautiful geode.
So I'm using the Nourish Oil from Kiara Sky and I'm just going to put a little bit around the cuticle and I'm going to rub it in. And there we have our geode now.